I have no more to sh my pants with. Oh, mother. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Run, man. Ah! Oh, look out. He's down the hall. Move. Wrong way. Oh, no. You, you done f***ed up. Is it over? It's over. I cannot tell you how many times this has been requested. All I can tell you is that, um, uh, here's one of the main reasons why I didn't want to watch it is because I remembered Nick telling me this. Nick has seen this before. So, just get that out of the way right now. Nick has seen this before, but... Why is he reacting to it if he's already seen it? Because it's f funny and I'll watch it again and I don't entirely remember it. Why, why, why is he reacting to it again if he's already seen it? And here's the other reason right here. These are my top three played Steam games of all time. There we go. How many hours? Holy Jesus. 246 hours. I just hear the internet online already saying amateur numbers. Yeah, I know people play games for a lot more time than 276 hours, but... Here's the thing, is I play a lot of fucking video games. Yes, you do. You play more than I do. So, I mean, I don't have time to put thousands of hours in a single game because I'm always <laughs> going to be moving to something else. And just the fact that I sat down and played one game for 276 hours is a long fucking time for me. So, this is a game right here. I have talked about playing with Nick. Nick has played an incredible amount, as you saw in his on his phone. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's satisfactory. And he has seen this video. I have not. And the reason this why it took guy, us so long to react to it. This guy plays every game he plays. With every intention to break it. Yeah, in the most wrong ways imaginable. Yes. Like. I remember you telling me about this guy. The whole point of satisfactory is you get, like, these really nice, pretty, OCD-pleasing setups is my best way of describing it. Like, if you have OCD and you get a setup running at 100% efficiency, uh -oh. it's just like, well, that's, like, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, you know? And yeah. This, this man yeah. does the complete opposite of that. <laughs> this, uh, getting back to it, this is satisfactory. I built a 600-meter human cannon that ends all existence, and this is by Let's Game It Out. So, uh... This is nice, too, because this is not the first Satisfactory video he's made, but he's gonna give you a rundown of the previous fuckery he's gotten up to in Satisfactory oh before he God. starts this one. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, let me get it up on screen. And here we go. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing Satisfactory today, my favorite factory building game where we find exciting new ways to make ridiculously big spectacles and try to destroy the game's frame rate in the process. First, we built kind of a normal factory, and before you know it, we've got a tornado made out of conveyor belts, oh. which caused some very exciting <laughs> performance issues. But I thought we could probably do that one better so and we turn this lovely valley make. into you a beautiful no conveyor idea. belt weave. Hello, slideshow. Oh, Feeling not quite hello. tortured enough, we went back to the tornado and turned it into a lovely cocoon. Lastly, oh we upgraded our massive factory system to take advantage of nuclear power, which produces a whole hell of a lot of waste that isn't easy to get rid of. Now it's so irradiated that if I die and spawn back in, I just die again immediately. But at least we were able to <laughs> add a warhead to the top of the cocoon. So that's where we are now. Good news though, we somehow successfully made it out this time. Onward to new adventures. So where are we headed to next? Well, I've heard some interesting rumors about a place in the far northeast we can check out. And also the game added this awesome sliding mechanic. Look how action pack this is. So we're gonna slide all the way there. Oh Watch out, God. big guy. It's time to slide. So many crazy biomes to He's slide the, through. Uh, Moving wildlife. Desert. Make way for Sir Slides a lot. Dear diary, it's been three days now and I'm still sliding. I watched the sunrise <laughs> all while sliding. And here we are, our brand new home. What a beautiful, lovely oasis. <laughs> Tons of sand dunes to do this all day long. And look, we've got local wildlife. Ow! Okay, that's fine. Don't <laughs> worry. We'll just jetpack over here. You can't cross water, though, right? Haha, <laughs> oh no. Oh, look, I got some tools with me. Like this thing to beat up wildlife. 
I think we're good for the ecosystem already. Okay, so the wow. first thing we need to put down is the hub. This is what allows us to unlock new blueprints and stuff, which we're gonna need. We can't put it in the rock face, can we? Oh, we can, and so we shall. Well, that's what I like be able to, to see. A beautiful base shoved into yeah, the side yeah, of a rock. And if we stuff. mash our face close enough, we can look through to the other side. Looks like there's a bunch of exclamation points trying to draw our attention. So let's have ourselves a tour. This is my lovely craft bench, beautifully mingling with the rock. And over here, we've got our hub terminal, which allows us to unlock different milestones. From my previous factory, we've unlocked quite a few. But they've added new stuff in the game, like this aptly named Awesome Shop, which we'll unlock soon. And then this symbol is for, uh, oh, it's for my storage chest <laughs> that, that I can't reach. reach. Oh, is there any way to get to this? Okay, I think I've got an idea on how to get to that. See this room right here? This is normally where you'd respawn if you died. So I wonder if we'll respawn inside the rock face. Good thing I brought this jetpack. Here goes nothing. Let me into my secret factory, please. Blech. Ah, my bones. Let's see where I respawn. Okay, here we are in a... <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I can't get through this rock either, so I guess we're in our own personal tomb. But at least we've got a bathroom. <laughs> Let's build this somewhere else. Let's go with option number two. Starkly in the center of a big, vast desert. Okay, now that the base is set up, let's talk about what we're gonna do this episode. My understanding is unlocking this tier is gonna give us the most premier form of travel, launching our bodies through a tube. But for any of that to happen, we need to set up a supply chain just like before. So we're gonna set up some factories on these mineral deposits, and we'll get our factory up and going in no time. Okay. And until we can get some better power going, we're gonna use these biomass burners for power. So to power these, we need biomass, which we could do by just pulling crap like this out of the ground. But why do that when there's this entire forest over here? And I brought a chainsaw. Take a good look, nature. I'm coming. Oh, yeah. Just get in there and it just all goes away. And you know you can peak efficiency if you're pulling weeds up while you run with a chainsaw. I bet these trees have been here surviving for thousands of years. Ah, uh, well, oh, what are you gonna well. do? Yeah. <laughs> Destroyed. Ah, like, see, much better. Oh. So beautiful, so barren. The only foliage the left. Forest, the tiny little place. twigs rolling in the wind. But hey, check out what all of that did for us. Just miles of beautiful leaves. All in all, we're set up really nicely to put a bunch of fuel into the biomass burners. There we go. Recycle all that foliage in the only way we know how. By burning the hell out of it. And in doing so, <laughs> it looks like all of our machines are looking nice and powered. I was gonna say biomass. I mean, couldn't you just, you know, shit into the grinder and have it work that way because it's biomass i mean you burn you burn stuff to make it run and shit burns everything here just drilling away now all we need to do is give it a place to come out of which of course means using my most beautiful friends conveyor belts and there yeah. we go all this beautiful ore is coming out now we just need a place to store and process and i think i might know just the place come on mother nature i have use of your bountiful land so we're gonna take advantage of this fertile ground for the best possible use and that's storage containers like a lot of containers just all over the place yeah okay this should oh do this should be our storage <laughs> containers right Bless Blessed be to you, Mother oh, Nature, for letting me use God. all this space for cargo, yeah, which means now all this rotate beautiful a bunch ore of can be redirected down below for safekeeping. Nice. He it would have been so much quicker and efficient to actually put them so they looked halfway decent. Just like line them up. And he took the time to make it look awful. Yeah. <laughs> took, took time to make it look like a jumbled mess. He had to scroll his scroll wheel to make them all fucking face different directions. I guarantee you while he was recording this, he was just like, hey, 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 people with OCD are going to be pissed. Yep. Okay, let's run some conveyor belts all the way down the dunes. And let's see, we'll just connect this here. Good. And then we'll just connect this one here. Connect this guy over here. I've got other drills too, so let's make sure to invite him to Cargoville. Population, all the materials. Ooh, and look what I found over here. Limestone. Don't mind if I do. And you know, that spot up there looks perfect for power plants. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> just looking great. What? Okay, with our basic infrastructure in place, it's time Time to turn these raw materials into something more tangible. And that means creating a number of production machines, like constructors and assemblers. And we're gonna put those right up there. Yeah, this seems like a good place. Let's make everything beautiful. No. Ah, uh, much better. Oh. Now this is my oh. factory. We got power plants there. Materials oh. getting melted down. I hate there. everything. And after all that stuff is processed, want, it I, gets sent right uh. on over to manufacturing. Look at it go. We also upgraded our power it's plants to such, coal. Which uh, is what all that it's such a hodgepodge of chaos. It's oh. th this dude is like seriously a mad genius because I wouldn't even be able to make that. Like, I would be so fucking lost after setting up four or five things and crisscrossing them all over the place. 
They'll be like, my brain is broken, and I can't remember how to get anything anywhere I need it or where anything comes from. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't I, I, I think it's it might just be because of my ADD, but, like, I, I would forget, like, too many things, and my brain would break, and I would just give up. Just throw in the towel. I'd just be like, I'm going to go play something like Doom where I don't have to think. <laughs> like, <laughs> That beautiful pollution is in the distance. So, you know, overall, business as usual. I could stare at this mess all day. See all these storage containers It is in the oddly background? satisfying. We haven't used them all yet. Just to see such a clusterfuck actually working at the same time. It, it is, but at the same time, it makes me want to kill something with a hammer. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah, but we actually are using them for storage. Take these boxes of screws, for example. They actually start their cherished lives as these ingots right here, which are lovingly manufactured into this machine here, before being pressed into fine metal rods. The rods eventually find rods. their way to this other machine, and out comes beautiful baby screws, which continue their 10-year journey down this conveyor belt, which which takes them through a painful amount of unnecessary twists and turns. You want to know how <laughs> unnecessary? Look, this is where the screws end up. Back on the ground where they started. So yeah, as you can see, wow. everything is pretty much a nightmare just like this. Oh, but don't worry, I have a system to find things. It's called I go from container to container hoping I find what I'm looking for. And if it's empty, <laughs> I just keep following the screw trail until I find where it ends. Finally, hey, I found there it some is. screws to use. Yes, it's a nightmare, but it's my nightmare. And now you get to share it with me. Now that our factory needs are squared away. It's I wonder if that's what John Romero said after he finished making Daikatana. Probably. <laughs> Time to focus on more exciting things, like unlocking something riveting. Specific John Romero, not George Romero. John Romero, sorry. Specifically, this resource sync bonus program just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Oh, look, Satisfactory has a message for me. Hey, don't tell them how long I've been sitting here. Thanks, game, for giving away all my secrets. All right, where were we? Awesome sync, let's do this. So this is one of my favorite parts of the game. We get to unlock those things by feeding the machine this stuff. And once we do that, a big old button appears for us to hit launch. And then we watch as those materials get sent off into the atmosphere, and then they're just gone forever, I guess. I've always wondered what mysteries this thing sees when it flies high into... Wait, what? Wait, really? It just gets stuck in space like that? Wow, really? This whole time I thought it like flew away. Wow, flat earth confirmed. We live in a big dome. Oh, I see. Are you back from your liar's journey? Don't think we don't know what you're up to. <laughs> well, now that my world view is shattered, they fixed let's that. take a look at the awesome shops. I, I've watched it go up and it does disappear. So, it's where weird. does it take it? Just into space. It's like, yeah. I guess back to home base, wherever that may be. Oh my god. So my understanding is the shop part lets you buy cool things. How do I use you? Oh yeah, it's like a catalog of fun things. Ooh, vehicles. <gasps> Fix it factory ah, card. I have I to have that it. Thing. That, that is tickets. that's amazing. Like the factory card is fun as shit. I was going to say for, it's not going to be any fun for him because he's out on the sand dunes. And you need uh, to actually build like real roads. foundations and oh, stuff. Yeah. And it drives really nicely over the foundations. Like, it fucking I was going to say, I remember you were driving that cracker box yeah. around and just, like, doing we, demolition dirt. Me and Wolf like... both bought one, and, like, we were just, like... <laughs> we, we spent, like, two hours just driving our fucking carts around and fucking around with them because it was so much fun. <laughs> just, like, doing donuts and tipping each other over. Yeah, seeing, like, how far we could launch it without getting killed and shit like that. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. I have none, and that's where the awesome sink comes in. Basically, we're gonna set this thing down and feed it excess resources. Okay, let's see, we just gotta fill its pie hole here. Well, I know where to go. Over to Terror Town. We got plenty of resources over here, so we're just gonna add a splitter right on top of the conveyor belt here, and then straight from the production line, we're just gonna pull them over. Okay, yes, yes, eat it all. There is something really exciting about watching it just crush up everything. Okay, so it looks like as we feed the machine, it gives us points, which eventually get put towards coupons. Like, check it out, there's two. Okay, you know what, I need more faster. Let's upgrade you to Mark V conveyor belts. Okay, things are moving faster now, but we don't have enough meow, pipes to keep up. Meow, okay, meow. no problem, I think I know how to handle this. First, let's use another splitter and split off whatever the hell these are. We'll run these back over to the master conveyor belt where we're gonna use a conveyor <laughs> merger. Go, just put that right there. And then connect this to the whole process. Okay, a little more stuff going at once. Huh, all these resources. Some of them just sitting here. Well, this gives me an idea. You know would probably make all this organization look even better. Putting splitters on everything. That way everybody can participate. Oh. I'm sure it won't look like a nightmare at all. 
<laughs> it's gonna oh look God, like a look at this mess. Oh I may have God. attached a couple splitters, quite possibly all over the place. It's really helping the decor. An aggressive amount of resources reporting for duty as ordered. Kane here at the <laughs> conveyor belt of prizes. We just need to connect all of these oh my bad God. boys. So we'll just put a series of mergers down and just start connecting. See, look at that. It couldn't be more simple. The conveyor belts just overwhelm the mergers, <laughs> and out comes a beautiful assortment of crap. Just shove everything in there. No part is too crappy. According to the awesome sink, we have started to give it a little bit more than we did before. Although I can't help but think we can make this go a little faster. I mean, all the stuff flying in right now is a lot of, like, lower-level stuff, but I bet if we added in some more high-quality components, this would get even better. And really, what better place to build that than... Oh, right over there. Oh, boy, let's get started. No! Okay, there we go. As you can see from this lovely bird's eye view, there's our... <laughs> it looks like a factory was built like up on the fucking mountain and then like a fucking earthquake happened and it all just fucking fell apart and like rolled down the mountain. Like it looks like a it looks like a fucking like disaster zone. It doesn't look like something that should be functioning. <laughs> The, ca the camera can't see you because you're standing next to it. Okay. I can't do Charlie Day justice. Okay, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> that a tiny little energetic man who is a, a musical marvel in his spare time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a spot uh, deep in my soul it was put there by this guy when he showed me his factory. I just want to tell you all: go oh, fuck, fuck yourselves. Soul. Uh, go fuck yourself. Our factory that kind of looks like Cthulhu's face. From way back here, it's actually <laughs> it hard to does. take in just how much crap is going on here. So in we go. So the goal was to add some of the higher tier items. And I would like to believe we did just that. We also managed to use all the cargo containers. Pretty much every single one of them. And pretty much everything is just one giant conveyor belt mess. And it just goes forever and ever and ever. What I'm trying to say is hopefully ticket Jesus. machine. Is hungry, yeah, just I, feed it I can't even do plastic whenever I make it this, fucking neat. Know, 40 hour. Like, I've not even gotten the plastic. Maybe that's the problem, Nick. Maybe you need to make it a mess. I wouldn't get any, I would get way less for. If I sound different than I did a moment ago, it's because I've abandoned all sanity. Yes, go forth, <laughs> my beautiful creations. Even We're after see the ticket wizard, even and after all the hours I played this game, I can't even remotely start to tell you how that fucking works. We aim to do it in the most disorganized way possible. And here they are merging onto the main belt. He's got parts ah, in there I've never even seen before. I hope the coupon gods are hungry because here comes a feast. Oh yeah, that's much better. Look at that. 94 Just constantly coupons. getting tickets. And look at that line graph. Whoa. Look at this before I was getting like six to 7,000 points per minute. And now a glorious 13.5 million points per minute. Woo. Okay, give them here. 224 glorious coupons. I'll try not to spend them all in one place. Okay, it's time for you fix it factor. Cart. Add to cart. Check out. Okay. Bombs away. He's gonna be real disappointed because he doesn't have a single foundation <laughs> Wait, in his whole place. this is the car? I fit place. inside this? Welp, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, ultimate comfort. All That's right, the other thing. It looks go. hilarious, yeah, now too. now we're some real speed going. Okay, all things considered, this thing's pretty fun. I mean, it is really impossible to control. Oh, hey, it's excuse me, what do you think dunes. you're doing? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he's scared. <laughs> oh, wow, this thing seems to actually do really well if you just ride it in reverse. And you can see my sad, concentrated face the whole time. Oh, no choice of this. Let's go see what's over there. Oh, boy, look at this lush forest here. Look out, the delicate touch of humankind has arrived. Hey, buddy, do you know where the, uh... <laughs> whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, come here, buddy. Oh, ignore me, will you? Let me get out and talk to him. Oh, he cared about that, that's for sure. All right, wow. creature, I know when I'm not wanted. Oh, but I'll be back. Because back at base, I have a little surprise for you. When I fled my old base, I brought a little something with me. <laughs> And that's something is... <laughs> He's just doing sick drifts in the fucking sand. That's what it does. <laughs> right here in this chest. It's hard to well, tell we had so much the fun picture, with it. But these things oh, right here oh are my God, explosive. Geez. Allow me to demonstrate. Yeah. Those ah, are demolition work. Such a noble profession. So I can't help but wonder, can we combine I had a lot of fun when we first made those because I'd be flinging them at Wolf oh, and be like, yeah. no! Giant explosive <laughs> no! is my co-pilot. <laughs> Okay, test number one. So having hopped out, looks like the explosive is still intact. Let's see what happens if I detonate. 
Well, work like a charm. Okay, test number two. <laughs> Let's see if we, uh, well, okay. I'm not gonna question it. It's part of the vehicle now. Ooh, test subject. Hey, buddy, enjoy. Oh, yeah, that worked great. Really? Not even remotely scarred by that? Here, just take one of the face then. Atta boy. Okay, so let's try <laughs> oh. this again. Maybe what we need is two of these. You know, what the hell? Let's go with three just to be safe. Did I say three? I meant four. four. Did I yeah. say four? Because I just made an amazing discovery. It turns out you can just keep attaching them <laughs> to Daisy each other like, them. like this. I wonder how many of these you can actually attach? Turns out quite a few. Behold, the Headmaster 9000 <laughs> with its beefy arms and amazing reach. I was going to say, that's the Extinction Master. <laughs> Dude, holy shit. This thing is ready to embrace anything. Move over, boys. I'm getting in. <laughs> Look at this nightmare. Out of the way, fellas. There's a new sheriff in town. Okay, who wants a piece? Whoa, oh my god, what's happening? What oh caused me god. to spin like that? Uh -oh, How do I do that? Good. Maybe I can just like... Oh yeah, perfect. Where was I? Well, no sense in wasting this. Come here, buddy. Let me just put a loving arm around you. Let's just enjoy the silence together. Ah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, just walk it off. Never mind the constant explosions happening around you. You know what? What am I doing? Let's just cut out the middleman and go straight to the source. I guess Let's they only damage what nice they're stuck Cage. How's it feel? You feel good in here? Don't worry, I brought presents for everyone. <laughs> oh god, should I feel kind of bad about that? Especially the part where it's like under its skin. Yeah, you keep posturing like that, I'll keep turning you into part Terminator. <laughs> oh yeah, now we're talking. Let's get one on each joint, give you that real cyborg feel. Here, have one right in the face. Literally right in the face. Here you go, buddy. Take this one and... Oh! Oh! Okay, it turns out they can only take so much of it. Quick, destroy the evidence! You know, maybe I'm going about this all wrong. I might need to find an animal that can take a little more... You know, oh, like hey. this thing. Big hey there, little more. guy. Oh, look at him getting up on the hind legs. I can't honestly tell if that's cute or just terrifying. Okay, step yes. one. Make the space giraffe a domicile. Step two. Coax it into its new habitat. Oh, that was easy. Step three. Decorate your new friend. Wow, this is way harder than I thought it would be. This guy keeps moving. Hold still. Jeez, just let me put more on your face. Oh. Okay, so me and Mother Brain have been hanging out all night, and as much as I would like to affix more, the frame rate's so bad that I actually can't aim anymore. But you know, between that beautiful <laughs> face and this beautiful glowing growth, there's about 400 explosives on him. So now that he's properly tagged, let's let him go free. Oh god, every time he moves, the frame rate gets even worse. Yes, be free! <laughs> Take the frame rate with you. Okay, look, I'm sorry to do this to you. As much as I want to live and let live, you need to die and let frame rate first. Sorry to do this to you. You know, as we sit here and watch this together. I kind of forgot why we did this in the first place. Hey, but at least we broke the frame rate again. My god, how long is this poor guy gonna keep exploding? <laughs> wow! This is still going on. You know, we'll just leave them to the fates. Who knows how long that's gonna be. Well, that was probably enough weaponizing animals for now. Let's focus on weaponizing ourselves now. And by that, I mean let's unlock something called hypertubes, which, as I've been told, is the premier way of human travel. This is what you came for. Oh my god. Let's start simple oh so understand how this works. Here's our beautiful entrance. And now let's add a little bit of this hypertube. Okay, in we go and huh. Ah. Well, that's about what I expected. Oh god, yes. This is what I was hoping we could do. Okay, what about if we aim this downwards. <laughs> yes, perfect. Okay, onward and... and uh, oh. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I was hoping we could return to the underworld. I was really hoping we could meet our maker again. Well, this is just filled with infinite possibilities, isn't it? Can I just continue to extend this? Apparently, yes. Like some kind of horrible sand serpent. You can just keep on going down and up and down and up forever and ever and ever. Oh my ever. god, well, it's this feels like a gift we need doom. to share with the world. And I think you know what that probably means. That's right. Let's just add a modest number of tubes to everything. What a relaxing oh! way to enjoy the cacophony. Just you, propelled freely through a frictionless tube like a bullet down the barrel of a gun. Watch out on that exit, though. It's pretty impactful. Oh. This does have me wondering, though. Which part about this glorious thing caused damage? Do you think it's the part where it's pushing you down? I think we need to do some experimenting. First, let's build a tiny little tower. If we build a tube system, which goes right over the edge and straight down, let's see if that alone causes any damage. Okay, in we go. Huh? Oh, okay. Took just a little over one square of damage. For test number two, it's let's see how this treats our frail human that. body. Yeah. Okay, in we go. About the same. Okay, so let's go taller. Make the journey a little longer. Surely this will feel good on my spine, right? Only one way to find out. 
Ooh, that's a lot more. Yeah. Out. Let's keep building higher and higher. Just a tiny amount higher. Oh boy, this is gonna like feel great. Okay, everybody, hold on to your internal organs. Blah. Wow. Yeah, just walk that off somehow. Well, I'm not gonna let the hyper tube beat me. Okay, I think we're about ready. What with all the layers we added. I'm still backing up in the hopes of showing it all. Okay, there we go, at long last. The view <laughs> from the top isn't too bad either. If you look down, it's a long way. And then, of course, over here, we have what I lovingly call oh. the avalanche. What do we think? Do things look any better from up here? So as you can no. see, we're starting with full health. Now let's hop in so the end can take us. You know, it's strangely uh, peaceful here in the tube. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, we're alive? Miracle tube. I'm sorry, I doubted you. Maybe it's that beautiful soft sand. So let's aim it up instead and see if we can reach the heavens. Okay, here goes nothing. Going as fast as we can and then, oh, and back up we go. Oh, well, how about that? Right back where we started. I do wonder something though. If I put an entrance point right here, you can see that it's pulling in air. This gives me an idea. Okay, so as you can see, I added a new element here and we'll see if the additional air pull adds a little something. Here we go. Okay, here uh, it comes. And Oh, wow. We seem to be moving a bit faster. Uh, strike that a lot faster. Well, oh! I think we know what happens next. And that's a bunch of mini tubes, just like this. Let's try that tall and just see how it goes. Okay, I got a good feeling about this. Oh, being launched out here is not what I was expecting. Tower, why have you forsaken me? And did you see those frames where my body was torn inside out? So I think oh! what's happening is we go through super speed. We hit the little gap there, and it sends us flying. Maybe I'm going about this all wrong. Let's try something more horizontal than vertical. So the way the last booster worked, we made a tube system that sucks you in one end, pops you out the other. And then it seemed like if we set up a second tube system so that it sucks you through the first one, you go through a tiny tube, exit the first tube, and then immediately get sucked into the next one. One, that this would give some extra speed. So let's test this. And just like that, we have our test bed oh. ready to go. So we got five okay. tubes set up here. That's and actually as you pretty can see, cool. Each one has one segment longer than the last. This is the kind of crap I do all the time, by the way. How else are you gonna just, find just the magic unless testing. you test until your eyes bleed? And it if I'm a if I'm a <laughs> video game company, I'm making this man a play tester. Right. I'm just turning him loose and just being like, okay, tell us how you broke the game. He's like, oh, I'll make a video about it. Here we uh, go. I'm pretty sure the guys at Coffee say no about this guy because I'm pretty sure they mentioned him in some uh, some of their updates. They probably yeah. It's like, like which I, uh, let's give it out immediately. Video is, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. If you look right past the tubes, you'll see a bunch of. Piles By the way, the guys who made this game are the same guys who make Goat Simulator. If you didn't know. Oh. Yeah. Well, they did good. Yeah. Just sitting around. And that's because basically I would go in the tube, see how far it launched me, leave a marker. Based on our five tubes, it would appear that for every booster you add, it goes that much farther. Super linear. And that brings us to test number six. The day I realized you could stack them even closer oh. together. And I'm not sure what witchcraft happens when you do this, but if you get enough of them going... Oh boy, do you fly and fly <laughs> and fly all the way to heaven. Wow, I knew that hypertubes were going to revolutionize travel, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. Have you ever been like, wow, I wish I could be over there now? No problem. We've got you covered. Have a Woo! safe trip. Oh. Are you ever working oh. on the job site when all of a sudden you realize you have a hunger? A hunger to do some shopping? Well, don't waste your time walking those like 40 steps. Let the hypertube do that for you. I can taste the savings already. <laughs> or maybe that's all the blood in my Mouth, or maybe you just want to experience the speed of light and having your face ripped off. Might oh, I suggest the Face Ripper 9000? No. This lovely system is over <laughs> 600 meters long, features over 150 boosters, all chained together so that when you're completely atomized, your comfort comes first. So what are you waiting for? Get in there. Such a smooth ride. <laughs> Broke the game. Oh my god, what is happening? Am I seeing the forming of the universe? Is this just all there is? Can I look around? I gotta go lay down. I can't deal. What does it mean? So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Start your journey Broke the today. universe. Oh my god, so I was at the top of my tower thing. And do you know what I spotted? Is that what I think it is? Oh my god, it's my old base. I can't believe we can see that from all the way back here. Well, oh I think god. we have our new objective. It's time for us to plot a course. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Oh, you know, I'll no. never get tired of building these cannons. It's like I'm crafting the barrel of a gun every time. Oh, and before we go on our amazing <laughs> voyage, let's see how many tickets we racked up. Oh, a lovely 928, huh? I'll be taking those. Or maybe I'll just take 500 for now. Let's buy ourselves something nice for the voyage. Ooh, like this coffee cup. I'm just gonna take in this beautiful view one last time. Yeah. Well, I love the coffee cup because okay, where your character has a oh. helmet on, whenever you hit the button to drink it, sometimes they go ting. ping. <laughs> and you can hear it like <laughs> tink against the helmet. <laughs> I'm well, time to die. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Oh, there we 
Here goes oh, the base. You passed Stand it. back to heaven. Okay, too extreme. Now we know. We're gonna jump in about 10 from the back this time. See how this does for Woo! us. Okay, a lot more manageable. I feel like these are very nice speeds. I feel like we're gonna hit the ground though. Or, or we could go through the ground. <laughs> Must sip coffee before I die. Okay, we're gonna go 14 in this time. And I don't know if this is cheating, but I'm also gonna use my jetpack for controlled bursts. Oh, there it is. All our old stuff. I'm coming for ya. <laughs> oh, oh, we're back ish. Oh, yeah. home sweet home. Feels so good to be constantly irradiated again. <laughs> well, feels good to be back. Who would have thought this would ever look orderly by comparison? And more importantly, what is that we see off in the distance there? That's right, the hypertube that brought us here. Well, I hope you had fun. I know I did. I'm gonna Damn. see if I can't clean this mess up, as well as make some new friends, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Proceeds to just blow everything up. So he, he does that with a lot of games. Yeah, I so remember he, that one game you showed me where he just, like, tried to... Br he deliberately broke the game. Uh, he did some uh, cooking simulator videos that are really fucking hilarious, too. Oh, my gosh. Like, basically, that's just what he do. He, he, he fucks games completely up. We got a cricket in the garage. Yeah, he's he's been in there They're for a the, little bit. In the basement, really. Yeah, he's been in there for a bit, man. He's he he don't mean no harm. Uh, he just chilling, I oh, guess. Oh, just got the notification from Jacob. He uh, got his uh uh his uh, beta key for uh, Halo Infinite. I got my. I'm checking my email as well to see if I got mine. But uh, yeah, that's that's coming in the future. That's com hopefully maybe coming in the future. Uh, I don't think it may be. I just realized Metroid Dread comes out next month, or this coming month. Yeah. I was just like, oh, damn, it's a lot sooner than I thought. <laughs> well, I mean, it's been delayed enough, dude. I mean, Jesus. I mean, finally, right? Well, I mean, I just knew it existed the last time they talked about it. Well, no, so. Dread, they've been talking about it since Metroid Prime, dude. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Scott the Wise has a whole thing on it where he talks about it, and he's just like... Metroid Dread seemed to be like the next step in the Metroid series, but they but they shelved it, and it was because uh, they started working on the other M, and when the other M failed uh, the way that it did, they just decided, oh, we're just gonna not do Metroid anymore, and then eventually the fandom was just like, what the fuck? We want more Metroid, give us more Metroid, and then eventually they were just like, all right, how about Metroid Prime Four? Like, okay, cool. And then that got delayed again. And started redevelopment all the way back from square one with Retro Studios, and now they're back to doing. Uh, now uh, they produce. Now they're releasing Dread, and everyone's just like, "What the fuck? Holy shit! Mm. I thought this was dead." <laughs> I mean, that's, that was my reaction. I remember I was just like, "Oh, oh, please, please let be Dread," and then, boom, Metroid Dread. Which, speaking of, I might do a, a reaction to the uh, Nintendo Direct that happened here recently. I haven't looked at any of the news or anything like that. So, outside of the one you told me, the uh, the uh, series. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, there, there's also a game they announced that has been rumored to be coming out for quite some time that actually released today. I don't know if you want to know about it since it's already out or not. But Go ahead. So they released the GBA Castlevania collection for Switch. Oh! Yeah. No, I did know about that. I did know that that was eventually coming. Yeah, but... it came out as of today. <clears throat> wow, Konami finally relented on something. Yeah. Jesus. I was like, fuck Konami, but I am interested in this just because I did like those games a lot. I mean, I mean Aria of Sorrow, mm -hmm. Har Harmony it's got of Dissonance. Harmony of Dissonance, Aria of Sorrow. Circle of the Moon. Yeah, Circle of the Moon, and Dracula X, weirdly enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I think they... I think they did put that on like a mo on like a mobile platform back then, but yeah. So anyway, this was I built a 600 meter human cannon that ends all existence, and he wasn't lying. Mm -hmm. it, it it didn't just end all existence. It literally like took him back to like the primordial like circle of life. <laughs> just like all of a sudden here he was in the darkness. He's just like, is this the beginning of time? Did I just create another big bang? Am I in another universe? He's either at the beginning or the end of time, one or the other. <laughs> the begin, the end is the beginning, and the beginning is the end. Well, what is it? If you if you move faster than light, what happens to time around you? Uh, it slows down. So time around you slows down. So yeah, if you if move you, fast enough, theoretically, you could travel backwards in time, right? So yeah, potentially, well, he probably. Tachyons. So technically, he probably did back propel back himself time. back to before the big bang happened. <laughs> well, deep space tachyons do that all the time. They move at such high speed that they literally jump back in time. 
that's that's one thing like about like uh, about time travel. Like, everyone's like, oh, time travel is literally impossible. No, it literally happens all the time in the universe. It's just we as human beings will probably never be able to experience it yeah, because us being able to move that fast would be instantly fatal to us. Well, it would be. It just depends on what we if we're on. In Unless like a you found out some way to like undo the laws of inertia on your body as you move. Oh, that fast. a vacuum. If you put yourself in a vacuum, but mm. that's the problem with being in a vacuum. You, you can't literally, breathe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. But if you're able to like make it to where you're able to exist in that vacuum and do that then yeah you they've actually shown how uh warp travel from like star trek is possible whenever you like encircle your ship in a vacuum and basically you you move through space in a vacuum and you're not occluded by anything and uh, yeah but all right <clears throat> so this is a good video i'm i'm glad we finally watched it and once again, you know, thank you all for suggesting it. And uh, I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you then, everybody. Peace out.